welcome back to another video today I want to show you a uh, quick look at one of the most versatile electrical multi cookers slash pressure cooker uh, you can find in the market and uh, this particular uh, electrical uh, multi slash pressure cooker is from Philips and this model is the HD2137 uh, the Philips HD2137 now Philips actually have uh, has a lot of uh, different models and there could be a newer model than this one uh, but this is a very popular model and uh, at the moment um, it doesn't cost too much of money just over like 90 US dollars uh, with some free gifts but we'll have a look at this first now it's an electrical cooker so it uses uh, electricity um, it's basically six liters so i'm going to just show you around um, it's almost like a rice cooker pot uh, a bit larger so this is the height is about uh, say about 30 centimeters and the diameter uh, it's also about 30 centimeters the control panel which we'll look at uh, it lets you access the different cooking functions uh, again we'll look into this in more detail so i'm just going to show you around the top part is the pressure lid which uh, for most part we'll actually be using so i'm just going to turn around and show you um so it says um i don't know if you can see this philips hd2137 um it runs about 1000 watts and uh, the power connector is just a standard uh, three pin power connector okay so as far as the pressure cooker is uh, concerned it's basically the front panel that we'll be interacting with now the lid basically is a turn to unlock so very smooth turn clockwise to lock and take clockwise to unlock so when we take this thing out just gonna push this aside so that I can show you the lid so this is the lid there's a pressure pressure valve okay uh, which actually has um, label big seal and vent so for most part when we're using uh, when we're using this for cooking uh, it should be in the seal position which is in the middle and if we're using this for baking cake uh, or uh, pastry uh, put it at the bake position basically it lets out a little bit of air but builds a bit of pressure um, seal basically seals up uh, for high pressure and van is when you want to release the pressure um, to cool down uh, once you have done cooking right, so the uh, inner lid uh, basically has a top portion with a silicon seal ring silicon rubber seal ring and this uh, seal ring uh, actually is very high quality and it will take uh, high temperature and pressure so to um, clean this uh, it's quite straightforward you just pull from the middle portion and uh, you can actually take out the uh, the inner lid uh, for cleaning and of course if you want to have a thorough cleaning you can actually take out the uh, silicon seal ring as well okay that's uh, how we actually clean the lid now the the cooking lid let me just show you again so the cooking lid itself there are no electronics here so you can actually wash this uh, of course you have to dry it properly all right so this top lid uh, there are no electronics you can actually take it out and wash it take out the inner lid and you can actually wash the outer lid as well so let me just put this thing back okay and um to close let me just move this ahead side to close you just put it down at the an angle and then just turn to seal it now that's uh, how the physical unit looks like I'd say this is about maybe 5 kgs uh, it's not like uh, but it's not too heavy you can like carry this around 
um, in terms of the body um, this is actually temperature seal so once you've done cooking it actually keeps warm for quite a bit of a time now what we'll do is uh, we will power on the unit and we will have a look at the menus so I'm going to pause and come back so we are actually having a look at the cooking menu right now now I'm just going to move this forward so you can actually see this much clearer during most cooking processes uh, basically once you turn on um, you can actually see the power light flashing and nothing has been set and um, I'll just quickly show you some of the main cooking functions and uh, I'll give you a bit, a bit more detail about this so for um, so the functions include uh, there is a slow cook function with a low temperature now basically this um, lets you slow cook for about uh, at about 70 degrees Celsius uh, for default 8 hours but you can set this to a longer time so slow cook at about uh, 70 degrees Celsius for lower temperature now there is a slow cook at higher temperature uh, which is about 90 degrees Celsius so uh, and this one will cook for default about 6 hours now between the low and high temperature uh, the low temperature of course it's a slower slow cook uh, this would be a mid, uh, medium uh, speed slow cook right uh, low and high temperature now um, if you want to use this as a electrical um, pan or fryer or a um, just a normal electrical cooker there's a saute function so you'll use this without the lid uh, just like an electrical cooker that you can stir fry vegetables and so on so there's saute or sear at low temperature uh, this would be about 130 degrees celsius and then there's a saute sear at high temperature uh, which goes to about 150 degrees celsius uh, so you know if you want to like um, fry uh, noodles or fry vegetables or like fry some fish or something uh, you, you want to use one of these two okay um, usually i will use the saute high temperature for a uh, higher heat for uh, frying meat and vegetables and so on now um, the saute or sear is also used for searing meat so if you are using um, a slow cook and you want to brown the surface of the meat you want to sear it at high temperature all right now uh, on the other side you have a stew function and the stew function is basically uh, cooking maybe meat or vegetables at about 90 degrees Celsius uh, 90 to 95 degrees Celsius for about uh, default for one hour uh, this is for stews uh, there's also a special yogurt function uh, I would think that this is more for colder countries um, you know if the environment is cold um, this actually keeps um, the um, the milk or uh, your your uh, material warm um, for at 40 degrees celsius so this thing keeps it warm at 40 degrees c uh, for default eight hours uh, so that your culture can actually grow uh, and there's also a bake function now the bake function is for uh, cake uh, it bakes at uh, about 140 to 160 degrees celsius uh, adjusted uh, for about 45 minutes uh, that's mainly for cakes right so um, these are some of the cooking functions that uh, don't really have high pressure uh, and there's also a pressure cooker menu um, so if I just press this button for pressure cook okay and then you'll cycle through you can see soup and the soup pressure cooker uh, it's uh, 20 minutes and then there's one for risotto uh, which is pressure cooking for 14 minutes there's uh, one for rice uh, which is pressure cooking for 14 minutes there's a pressure cooker uh, for steaming function which is for 10 minutes um, there is a meat or poultry pressure cooker function uh, which is default for 15 minutes which you can set up to one hour and then there is a manual pressure cooker which you can set whatever time that you want 
okay now whichever cooking function that you set uh, again let me just quickly go through the cooking functions slow cook low temp slow cook high temperature difference in temperature saute or frying low temp saute or frying at high temp stewing yogurt function which is basically uh, heating the milk for a long period of time baking and then the pressure cooker function for soup risotto rice steaming meat or poultry and a manual control now whichever function that you choose you can actually set the cooking time uh, for every built-in menu there is a automated default cooking time which works for for most part but if you want a uh, finer tuning you can actually set the cooking time uh, different from the default amount of time and then uh, there's also a preset timer now the preset timer basically lets you set uh, a few hours uh, before the cooking cycle starts so let's say if uh, you put some uh, meat inside uh, or some rice inside and uh, you know you're going to go out of the house and come back in uh, eight hours right uh, you can set the preset timer to seven hours so it starts cooking uh, one hour before you get home and then within that one hour uh, the rice would be more than ready okay um, so these are some of the functions now in terms of how the pressure cooker actually cooks um, once you've set the cooking cycle uh, and you close the lid uh, and put the valve in the correct position right? it starts heating up that means uh, it starts heating up whatever that's inside and uh, once it starts heating up the pressure will start building that means uh, the sealed port will start uh, gathering pressure once it gets up to the correct uh, level of pressure uh, you will maintain the pressure uh, via constant heating until the amount of time is up and then it will stop heating and you'll end up to a keep warm cycle after the cooking is finished keep warm uh, basically keeps warm the material inside for six at 60 to 80 degrees celsius um, and um, until you get home or until you are ready to eat all right now uh, i'm just going to zoom out again i want to show you the inner port so let me just cancel this okay i'm just going to move down so the default inner port um, is a non-stick fairly high quality um, I think this is like aluminium port but it's coated and uh, there will be measurements um, for cooking uh, rice and uh, you can see how much of amount of liquid that you want to put in okay and this uh, non-stick material is quite durable um, the outside is also coated with uh, some easy to clean non-stick material okay um, the, the inner non-stick is far more durable so let me just put this back inside right so one of the things that I will try to do in the next uh, video next few videos at this is to show you the difference between cooking rice in this pressure cooker versus using a normal rice cooking pot so that's one of the videos I will be doing now um, how much did I buy this for uh, I bought this I bought this for about a um, hundred US dollars which is about like 440 ringgits um, and it comes with an extra stainless steel uh, cooking pot so uh, you get two pots now uh, because this is Philips and it's a mainstream brand it is very easy to get spare parts and uh, accessories and you get good support um, so uh, this is actually a very highly uh, recommended multi cooker and also a pressure cooker with a lot of functions and uh, personally I use this a lot for pressure cooking because it doesn't use gas 
so it's uh, fairly safe to you know use the timer and then maybe like uh, to set the cooking at night and wake up in the morning to have a perfectly cooked meal or if you head out and you can set the cooker to cook and then uh, when you come back you can get a wonderfully cooked uh, meal as well all right so all right so this is a short look if you have got any questions please feel free to ask me uh, in the comments below of course I, I also need to mention that you know in the box it comes with a uh, steamer basket and uh, some ladles and so on uh, that's uh, minimal um, so um, good highly recommended cooking unit all right see you all in the next video